I'm Ryan Bertrand. You're watching the Ugly Inside. Ugly Inside TV outside St Mary's. Hassan, Burnley won. Saints nil. I mean, a few years ago we used to think this place was a fortress. Today, not so much. Again, that's a circus, mate. It's a laugh. I've had enough, mate. It's just I've got no philosophy, I've got no style of play. Last season, around this time, we battered Burnley here. Oh, why it was 3 1, but it could have been 5 or 6 that day. Mm. That just shows how shit we've become. I mean, last season we had nearly 30 odd, 35 yeah. shots. Today, you know, you can count on one hand. For me, it's down to the manager. His philosophy, he doesn't want to change it, he's stubborn. You know, he. <sighs> Luke Osman, who you know very well, wrote an article. I'll check it out for all you guys in June about how defensive this guy is and that, you know, he look, first he likes to defend, then attack. We showed nothing there and we knew what we were in for, which is one of the most painful things. Last year, I was accused of having an agenda against Puel. I never had an agenda. My agenda was I wanted Marco Silva as a manager. He's a very good manager. That's why I wanted Puel gone. But honestly, I would do anything to swap Puel for Pellegrino because this guy is a clown and if he stays in charge, we will go down and we'll be planning Ipswich away next season. I mean, last season, all the booze started to come around, you know, the winter time, yeah. uh, just after Christmas and that, etc. Yeah. Today, a lot of people booing already for Pellegrino. Yeah. Has Puel set an example for boring football? I, we can't blame Puel for this, man. He's gone to Leicester and he's, you know, he's changed it up a bit now there. Um, boring? Well, this guy's taking it to boring to another level. I think with Puel, it was just a case of we weren't taking our chances, weren't scoring many goals. We only scored 17 goals at home last season. Mm. But this guy, and he's had a lot of luck on his hands. Look, we look at all our three wins, we analyse it. West Ham could have easily drawn two all. Uh, two all. Mm. Palace, Benteke missed three sitters. And West Brom, I mean, uh, a moment of uh, magic from Bufa. You know, we could be in like, the bottom three already, but we've had a lot of luck on our side and a moment of brilliance from one or two players. People saying, oh, Lamina was missing. Lamina wouldn't have done anything today. It's the attack that's the problem. This guy's got no philosophy. Charlie Austin came on, he looks like he's overweight. He looks like he's not fit, and when he came on, we stopped attacking. We never looked any threat. We were much better with Gabbiadini on the pitch. I mean, Gabbiadini once again always making those runs, looking yeah. lively in that final third, playing off that last defender. It was like for like for that substitution. But it shouldn't off. It shouldn't have been there. He should have gone with two up front because up until when he took Gabbiadini, we were in charge. We were searching for that. As soon as he came, off, Burnley thought, "Yeah, you know, Austin." You start with playing with ten men with Austin. They thought they come at us and they got the goal. But, you know, well deserved to them. You know, I probably want a perfect away performance. Good, uh, good defensively. They were good defensively, and they nick you on the break. What one 0 They'll be laughing their fans because they played. And Sean Dykes is a brilliant manager as well. But us, we are an absolute joke. The players need to look at themselves. The manager needs to look at themselves. And if he, because if he doesn't sort it out, we will be going down. We've got some tough games coming up as well. I, I give him. I think we've got next to Liverpool, Everton. We lose both. He has to go. I'm already saying sack him, but I'll give him these next two games to try and sort it out. Okay, yeah, as you say, a lot of tough games coming up, yeah. but really, realistically, how do you think we'll get on at Liverpool in two weeks' time? Mate, they got Mane coming back, Lalana coming back. You honestly think we're going to keep them out? Do you? They're going to pin us in. We're going to probably just look to defend, and then they'll break us. And then I think they'll, 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 beat, they'll beat us for sure. 3-4-0. Mm. I can't, because we've got nothing going up front. We've got no philosophy. You know, the attacking players are all looking at each other like, you know, shrugging the shoulders. So. Shrugging the shoulders. There's nothing up there. Yeah. This guy, for me, he's an absolute joke, and I, I want to know who, who, who appointed him. I think Les Reed's got to come out now. He's always there when things are going well. Yeah, we recruit good managers. Yeah, we recruit good players. Now, come out now and tell us why we've been performing shit these last 18 months. I've had enough now. The recruitment hasn't been good enough, and the, from the manager's point of view, I want to know where did they find this clown from. I want answers. When they had a good manager, Marco Silva, at Watford last year, why didn't they consider him? 